Hello everybody, welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Right now, I am actually doing a 24-hour stream on my Twitch.tv. It is in the description below, uh, twitch.tv forward slash aqueousgotcha. So go there and join the stream. I'm going to be streaming until May 23rd at noon. Uh, we are about an hour and 43 minutes into the stream. Uh, and also, this is going to be going longer than 24 hours, actually, because it is a subathon. So, rules for the subathon will be in the panel section on the Twitch, but let's get into this reaction of Boot Hill. Gonna go over the whole kit and everything. And this is gonna be what comes we live. Just received an S of a wanted notice from the IPC. Boot Hill, a cyborg of unknown origin and age, but it's suspected he may be a galaxy ranger. It is believed that he's involved in multiple criminal Bit activities of a part intro, of the IPC. But it's fine. The Criminal disgusting. Investigation Unit advises caution. The person in question is known for his dangerous behavior. In this episode of Keeping Up With Star Rail, we'll delve into the life of this criminal, uncovering his heinous acts, and teach you how to deal with such a vicious outlaw. Hell yeah. Today's show doubles as a security training course for the IPC. And we are pleased to welcome Don Hung, the knowledgeable databank administrator why are from we, the Astral Express as our guest. Um... Security training course? Why, why are we doing that? Perhaps I'm on the wrong set. Yeah, I nobody thought cares I was invited to introduce bring home, bring 100 in friendly ways Isle. to communicate with Boot Hill. <laughs> nope. This is the right set. But we can't exactly stand outside his shooting range and yell at him or stare him down, right? How awesome can. would that be? <laughs> well, without further ado, let's take a look at Boot Hill. Criminal records indicate that Boot Hill is a physical type character who follows the path of the hunt. Known for his audacity and brazenness, he adheres to a more he really old is school method pretty of selling cool. disputes. In my opinion, <laughs> with a duel. When Boot Hill Here's the thing. Wuthering Waves has way cooler male characters than Honkai Star Rail, right? The only one that comes close, in my opinion, before Boot Hill was Blade. Now Boot Hill is in that discussion, right? Actually, Welt is kind of cool too. But whenever you look at someone as badass as Calcharo, or as badass as Gion, you realize, holy shit, the bar is crazy. They actually have a character in there with a full beard and everything. Wow, imagine that. Um, so that would be definitely a something that I have a problem with in Honkai Star Rail. As opposed to Weathering Waves in terms of like the character design and just Hoyoverse in general. Because it's kind of the same thing in uh, Genshin Impact. Same kind of a uh, deal. I think the Weathering Waves male characters are on average just a lot cooler looking. But I'm glad that Boot Hill is now in the game because this is definitely the second coolest male character. In my opinion. He uses his basic attack. He deals physical damage to a single enemy. When Boot Hill uses his skill. He and the target enemy are locked in a standoff for a set number of turns. While in this state, both sides may only attack each other, during which time the damage received from one another is increased. Using this skill does not regenerate energy, but won't end Boot Hill's turn. Now here's the first pointer about dealing with Boot Hill. Do not challenge him to a one-on-one -on -one fight. <sighs> so it still comes down to a fight, doesn't it? While he prefers solving problems through one-on-one -on -one duels, he isn't one to kill needlessly. I believe the first rule in dealing with him should be to provide a reason not to shoot you. But let's face That's it, true. accidents can and do happen. But if you're unlucky enough to find yourself caught in a one-on-one -on -one with Boot Hill, it's worth remembering during standoff, his basic attacks are enhanced, resulting in increased physical damage to the target enemy. Also, so he's going to be really good with the propagation because all like his damage other than his alt is just his basic attacks and uh, the propagation tree is based off of dealing basic attack damage. So it's anybody that their skill is just an enhancement for their basic is really good. That's why Don Hung is good, but also Don Hung is like double good because he consumes a lot of skill points too, which is uh, another thing that propagation likes uh, you to do. Um, and also QQ is good at it, uh, Blade is decent with it, yeah, and Boot Hill's gonna be decent with it. If an enemy caught in the standoff is defeated or the weakness is broken, Boot Hill will exit the standoff state and gain one stack of pocket trick shot. For Whoa. every stack of pocket trick shot he has, the toughness reducing damage from his enhanced basic attacks increases. And if the enemy's weakness is already broken, Boot Hill will inflict additional break oh, wow, damage really based on the number of pocket trick shots stacks he has. 
After winning a battle, Boot Hill will keep his stacks of pocket trick shot and take them into the next fight. When facing Boot Hill, it's best to ask your sidekicks to wait on the sidelines. Waiting in line to be taken down by Boot Hill only serves to make him fight harder and longer. Bravery is tested against the strong, not the weak. Likewise, Boot Hill has no interest in fighting those who are weak. And after unlocking certain traces, Boot Hill regenerates energy every time he obtains Pocket Trick Shot. This effect is also triggered even after Pocket Trick Shot exceeds its maximum number of stacks. When using his ultimate, Boot Hill applies physical weakness to a single enemy for several turns, deals physical damage. It's really good because even if you don't have, uh, you're being held captive. Oh my goodness. Yo, someone help this guy out. Thank you to Sex Release for the follow. Um, yeah, I would like to release a lot of sex personally on Boot Hill here. Uh, yeah. So, by the way, if you're watching the YouTube video and you didn't pay attention to the intro, I'm currently doing a 24-hour stream to celebrate the launch of Wuthering Waves. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Um, it's really, really good that he applies physical weakness with his ultimate, and then I think also, I don't know if this is, I'm sure it'll say it, this might be one of his uh, Eidolons, but I think at the start of a battle, or whatever he uses skill or something, like his first skill, his first attack applies his weakness on an enemy. I'm not sure, but just the fact that he can do it in general is very, very, very good. Um, any character that can apply their own weakness, it makes them very, very versatile in what matches you can, or like what battles you can take them into. Because even if, you know, the enemy is not weak to physical, you can still be like, oh, okay, uh, due to the mechanics of this boss, there can still be a boot hill angle. And then, so you can take him in. Or just because Damn maybe you like want a main boot hill. Having a character that can put their weakness on anybody is really good for characters that want to main them. Because if you want to main a character in a gacha game, it's like, oh yeah, I want to main Acheron when I'm against lightning units, right? Because obviously Acheron's not going to have nearly as high effectiveness against an ice unit. That's unless you have E6, but that's uh, neither here nor there. Um, yeah, it's really good. Also, by the way, um, I had a dream that Sam, uh, not Sam, yeah, Sam and Firefly, they can do that too, with fire. But you know, that might not be true. And causes the next action to be delayed. Don't be fooled. Boot Hill follows the less is more approach, causing weakness breaks with just one shot, meaning he doesn't waste bullets. After Boot Hill uses his technique and enters combat, the first time he uses his skill allows him to inflict physical weakness on the enemy target for a certain number of turns. Now on to the last point of her face in Boot Hill. Fully prepare yourself mentally. Oh my god, I'm gonna come. Thank you, Sex Release, for the subscribe with Prime. That is crazy. That's another 10 minutes we'll be streaming. On top of the follows, that's another 15 minutes we'll be streaming. Uh, this is never going to end. This is never going to end, guys. All right. As long as these, as long as these things keep happening, the stream is never ending. And um, I will have to quit my job, at which point, once my incredibly lucrative streaming, streaming career is over, I will um, be homeless. So, yeah. Uh, yep. That's, hey, it is what it is. I don't make the rules. Uh, yo, with the Pikachus. Oh, Pikachu? What's up? Before stepping onto the battlefield. How you doing? As long as you put on a brave face, there'll be no chance for Boot Hill to break you. In summary, as a character who follows the path of the hunt, Boot Hill excels in one-on-one -on -one fights. He makes himself increasingly formidable in combat by stacking pocket trick shots, oh which he accomplishes by defeating enemies or with weakness bricks. With a skill that boosts his damage and an ultimate that applies physical weakness debuffs, Boot Hill is a powerhouse in crucial battles against powerful enemies. Avoid so one-on-one -on -one duels, don't bring sidekicks, and remember to put on a brave face. It's With so these good. in mind, you'll find there's nothing to fear about Boot Hill. Avoid one-on-one -on -one duels? Isn't a one-on-one -on -one duel unavoidable? Ooh, and our employee of the year can't wait to show off his skill. Let's put today's lessons to the test in a simulated battle. Our employee of the year has brought two sidekicks along. Perfect. He's clear, remember, point one, oh, avoid one-on-one. -on -one. All right, so the strategy would be to take out the one sidekick, take out the other one, get two stacks of his passive, and then go after the big one with all that extra toughness break. Seems he's forgotten the other point. No. Budo makes the first move using his skill to enter standoff. Yep. And then follows up with an enhanced basic attack. Boom. Uh, by uh, firing the first shot, although gravely unethical, he still gains one stack of pocket trick shot. Yep. Condemnation has no effect on him. 
Our fearless employee launches a valiant assault, effectively taking some of the wind out of Boot Hill's sails. Boot Hill is back to his old tricks, okay. earning himself an additional stack of pocket trick shot. But that's not a problem. We hold the upper hand. Although things are a little complicated, our exceptional employee has a forgotten point too. Avoid bringing sidekicks. He's standing strong, not giving Boot Hill any chance to seize upon. If your enemy doesn't have a weakness, create one. Exactly. But even though that strike dealt a heavy blow to our side and delayed our action, our Star Wars Ooh. team leader still stands strong. Absolutely and blasting he's that. Able to take another enhanced basic attack before he uh, cocks off for the day. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's extend our gratitude to our employee of the year for providing us with such a deep understanding of just how ruthless this criminal really is. He's going to give it to himself. It's evident that the chances of a friendly dialogue with Boot Hill are practically zero. In dealing with such a brute, we... I'm really excited for Boot Hill to be in the game. Bad news, Albert! Boot Hill has broken in! Huh? He took advantage of a lapse in security during training, and he... Ah! Hello? Well, fudge me. You must be that affection-starved little birdie. I reckon fudge you've me. got some measure of my grit. So why are you still spinning all those sweet, fine, fudging, shirt-bagging, slippery tongue tall tales? I'm about to show you some muddle fudging tough love. No, oh, why didn't you say something earlier? He may have some gripes about the show, but he sounds quite nice when you talk to him. Who can show me some tough love, you know um, what I mean? <clears throat> I don't think he was trying to be nice. No. All right. So that was the Boot Hill. <laughs> that was Boot Hill's basically like rundown. I like that they started doing this for all the characters. Uh, they used to only put the post out, uh, but now whenever they put their post out, they put the video out. And it basically just like, I don't want to read. So like, I want Owlbert to tell me what the character does. And honestly, it's pretty good, decently entertaining. And I really like Boot Hill. I think he's going to be a great addition to the game. Even if I don't end up getting him, I think he's going to be really cool uh, to watch other people play with, with him. Uh, but if I do get him, I won't be upset. Although, if I do get him, I do feel like I'll really want his... Um, was it his light cone? And then at that point, I won't be able to get Sam and Firefly's light cone. And then at that point, I will, I'll be tapped when Jade comes out. Oh. I've never had so many characters come out in this game in a row that I wanted. And it is very, very, very scary, in my opinion. Because I I am just afraid. I, I am... Like, before, I got everyone that I wanted, for like the most part. Everybody that I actually really, really wanted. No problemo. Not having to spend almost any money. And then, now this happens, three characters in a row, two of them, if I get them, I would really want their light cones. It's just, it's rough. It's rough. That would be five things that I would have to pull on. Um, but hey, we're going to try our best. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And have a wonderful day.